Hello and welcome to Blender video tutorial number 20 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to do this with cubes uh, this is called an array okay you can do lots of stuff with them alright very good effects uh, so to begin I'm just gonna go ahead and go to file new in array salt and change the color settings around it seems to work better on YouTube with this color alright so with this go ahead and move your camera and light to another layer with M key move to layer 2 and select your cube now to add that modifier that I had on there uh, you need to go add modifier and hit the array okay so it's right above armature and just hit array for the first count we'll just go ahead and copy this hit the copy button right here and come down and you'll see that it says fixed count and under fixed count for the second one just leave it at two so and for the first one just put it to about seven okay and if we notice what happened here is we've got all these cubes going out here we don't want this we want it to look a lot cleaner so select relative offset and it'll get rid of this okay so now it's back as if it looks like one cube okay so now what we need to do is add two empties add empty add empty okay so select your cube again and by default it'll be called empty and empty point zero zero one alright so that we can control the uh, the cubes with the empties you need to hit object offset and object offset alright so go ahead and split your window right click split window IPO curve editor and hit A to select all and then hit I key and location rotation and scale alright and go ahead and hit up arrow key a couple times move to another frame and just grab the empty grab the first empty you add in which will be empty the second empty will be empty point zero zero one so with the first empty selected just bring it out okay and what you can do now is you can either you can do a lot of things just you can bring it like this rotate it with the R key alright grab the next empty and bring it down alright you can spin them around I'm gonna hit A again select all location rotation scale I wanna set up the uh, the account the count number for the second one so we have more cubes going around go up a couple on the frames alright and I'll hit R again after selecting an empty Just kinda move them around a little bit you can also scale the empties down and it'll make them smaller okay so you scale with the S key and go ahead and hit I and then there we have it go to frame one get into position go to perspective so it looks better unselect it and watch it go there we go and you can animate this for a long time and add more uh, cubes in there so for the next one I'll be doing the wave the wave effect okay I'm just gonna select everything and delete it okay to do the wave add mesh and cube and edit mode go back to object mode real fast go back to the edit buttons and add a modifier we're gonna add the mirror modifier as we did before except we're gonna copy it a couple times okay for the first one it says X for the second one you need Y and then Z so take off that one and that one so it's XYZ this will mirror in every direction so go into edit mode control over and then control over also control up alright so now we've got this set we can add get these out of the way okay now that we have the mirror we can add the wave so select the wave after your uh, object is mirrored in all the directions and just hit OK all right, as soon as you're added and you hit Alt A you can see it do the wave alright uh, 
You don't need to learn nothing else about it because all you have to do is play with these settings. Turn the speed up. I mean, crazy stuff. Real fun to play with. Scale it up. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think you can add a subserve to this. Yeah, you can. Set the subserve level up. Go back to your edit button, set it smooth. And there you go. Really stupid animation. Okay, hope you enjoyed.